We begin tonight with three shootings rocking two quiet communities, separate acts of violence, two of them playing out in public as police search for answers. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBSN Sacramento right now. Two of today's incidents happened in Carmichael, each of them leaving one person dead. The other, a shooting at a busy restaurant and wine bar in Roseville. A worker gunned down on the job. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Roseville tonight with the victim's co workers describing the terrifying ordeal, Anna. Yeah, it's a very traumatic situation for everyone who saw this happen. Take a look behind me. Detectives still on scene at this hour. Employees at House of Oliver say the shooting happened inside the restaurant as they were preparing for the dinner rush. People were told to run for their lives. Surrounded by officers in the middle of lunch hour, House of Oliver customers and employees say they were forced to face a man with a gun. People across the street saw them running away. And I was terrified. We're pumping gas and we're all hanging out, and then all of a sudden there's 15 people running as fast as they could, and they told us, run. On scene, police discovered one victim with life threatening injuries. They say the male suspect had fled and a manhunt began. It was really, really quick. Like, wasn't a standoff, there wasn't anything. House of Oliver employee Trevor Christopher says the victim was a beloved co worker. Trevor was working in the kitchen, blind to the chaos going on up front until his manager warned him. We heard uh, him come running back through that there was a shooter in the building. We all ran out through the other side of the restaurant to the uh, Safeway gas station. At this point, there were only a few customers in the building. One of them was Jody Buddha. Nowhere in my wildest dreams would I ever thought I'm going out on summer break for a luncheon and having it happen like that. Roseville police have not identified the shooting victim or given an update on their condition, but they say the man they have in custody is the only person of interest in the case and the community is not in danger. Co workers like Trevor dread the days ahead. And what's going through my head right now is what's it, what it's going to be like going back in however many days or weeks it takes for the restaurant to open again. And yeah, and House of Oliver just posted on Facebook saying that they will be closed tomorrow and that they'll let people know when they plan to reopen. When we spoke with police earlier today, they say this was not a mass shooter situation, just one victim and one shooter. Anna Jaws live in Roseville tonight. Anna, thank you. Now